guys, Shane Storms with DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to achieve S off or security off on your HTC Droid DNA. This method is brought to you by developers Bopes and JK of Team and IRC. As most of you guys know that follow me on Twitter, this method was made available a week and a half ago. I've been on vacation with my family in Disney World. We had a great time, but because of that, I was not able to bring you guys this method immediately as it went up. I am sorry for that, but I'm also glad that I waited because Bopes and JK have made the method even easier than... Uh, when it did first come out. Before we get started, I should mention that if you have received the over-the-air update without first applying the Super CID uh, and then unlocking your bootloader, this is not going to work for you. Uh, you have to have the Super CID plus unlock bootloader before you move any further with this. I have guides on how to do that, which I'll include in the link in the description. So that needs to be accomplished first. Um, then some have said that after unlocking their bootloader they were able to receive the over the air update and still apply S off. Um, I'm not taking any risks as you guys can see I'm on airplane mode because Verizon as soon as I turned on my phone tried to send me the update. Uh, this should work on any sense based ROM. It may not work if you're on any AOSP based ROM like I know that there is an unofficial build of CyanogenMod 10 floating around. If you're running that you may end up having some issues uh, so be careful with that. Um, but without any further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is go into settings and developer options. Be sure that USB debugging is checked. When we're done with that, we'll head to our computer. So you want to head to the link that's just below the like button uh, and it's going to bring you to this page. This is the facepalm s off for the Droid DNA, you want to grab two files, so you're going to need the modified boot image here, and you'll need the signed firmware here. Go ahead and download these files and transfer those into your platform tools folder. So if you've installed the Android SDK, you'll have working ADB and Fastboot, both of which are needed in order to do this S off. Um, if you're not sure how to set up the SDK, it's very simple. Search Google how to set up the SDK, and you shouldn't have any trouble finding a video. I have an older video that's kind of outdated on how to install the SDK, so you may want to find a more updated video on how to do that than the one that I put out several, several months ago, probably about a year ago. Uh, so once you have those copied over into this file, we're going to go ahead and open up a command prompt. So we'll go shift, right click, and open command window here, so we'll have it uh, opened in the platform tools. And then from there, we're just kind of copying and pasting uh, code into this command prompt. So we'll just go step by step here. And the first thing we want to do is copy and paste ADB reboot bootloader. Hit enter. Okay, once your phone is in the bootloader, uh, we can go forward. So before we move further, I did want to show you guys that it is S on. My phone is S on. Uh, it says that it, we're unlocked, which you have to be unlocked, and then you do see there where it says S on. And then we want to make sure that we're in the bootloader mode, so that we'll continue from there. Okay, so our next command is fastboot OEM reboot RUU, so we'll just copy that, paste that into the command prompt, and hit enter. Okay, so we're waiting for this screen here. It's just going to be black with the HTC logo. Uh, from there, we'll go to our third code, Fastboot Flash Zip, and it's that zip that we downloaded from here. So go ahead and copy and paste that. Hit Enter. Okay, so it's going to give you a failed... Uh, it's going to give you an error here, Remote 92, Super CID, Please Flash Image again immediately. So that's what we're looking for. Um, if you get a failed 99 error, then you're going to want to reboot the phone several times and try again. Okay, so that's exactly what we wanted. So from there, we're going to go Fast Boot DNA Rescue Image. We'll paste that and hit Enter. So now we're waiting on Android to fully boot on our phone before we proceed. You don't want to get in a hurry and reboot the bootloader. You want to make sure that Android does fully boot up. 
and all the work should have been done by now. The very final step is just going to be to boot into bootloader so that we can see our S off. So we'll go ahead and run our very last command. ADB reboot bootloader. And then we should see what we're looking for, our S off on our HTC Droid DNA. Okay, so once we are rebooted into the bootloader, you now see that we're unlocked and we have S off. So now we should be able to flash H boots. We should be able to flash kernels and ROMs all freely from recovery. We will not have to flash those via an ADB command. So big props to Bobes and JKs for getting this method together. Uh, like I said, it's very easy. I know that most of you guys are pretty good with following directions, but a lot of you watch my channel because you like to see a visual aid. So anyways, guys, if you like this video, be sure to click that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more coverage on the HTC Droid DNA. I imagine now that we have S off, we're probably going to get all kinds of awesome development on this device. I'm pretty sure that Signage and Mod 10 will become official quickly. They're already making uh, leaps and bounds in development on CM10. Once CM10 is available, we'll have all kinds of AOSP ROMs for this device. Uh, so there's lots to look forward to on the HTC Droid DNA. Also, be sure to check me out on DroidModerX.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. I'm going to continue our giveaways that we do uh, pretty regularly on that Twitter account, so be sure that you are following me there. Uh, if you have any questions about this method or if you run into any issues, be sure to leave a comment below. I check comments on a regular basis. I try to answer every single one, uh, so be sure that you leave any comments if you have questions. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.